Number one. We told y'all we was gonna do it. We told y'all we was gonna do it. Hey. Yes, sir. Uno, uno, my friend. Four hard uno, years. Four hard uno, years. Uno. Cash in, baby. This the cash in. Infinite skills. Oh. You know we got the hits. Plus all the highlights. Check TampaBay.com. You know we'll keep it tight. Knight and Cody put in work for sure. Bringing more than scores, so search no more. If you want to know it now, then you need no other reason to check Friday Night Rewind back for a fourth season. Hey there, it's John Cody, Joey Knight. We're here at the Citrus Bowl on their newly laid artificial turf. Joey, uh, Jefferson State champions. A dominant performance, 44 to 34, but it wasn't even that close. Not even, and like I said, Jefferson came out tight. If they hadn't come out tight, it may have been 42 to nothing instead of 22 to nothing early on. They just a dominant performance. They were a better football team. Yeah, we're kidding because they, they didn't come out tight. That was some pregame prognosis. We were maybe a little bit off there. Uh, but, but right off the bat, uh, Jefferson controlling this game. The first two snaps of the game, Miami Norland quarterback drops the ball. I mean, they looked scared out there. Then he throws an interception on the third play of the game, and that sets up Jefferson's first touchdown. But Miami Norland, Miami, this is Miami. They, they have, they're supposed to have all the swag, and they, uh, they look very scared out there early. Indeed, and you got to give credit to the Jefferson offensive line because they were just blowing. Miami Norland off the ball. Demetrius Russell and those guys finding creases up the middle. Quentin Williams, he had great coverage. I mean, he threw a couple of picks, but he was hurt. He was banged up most of the second half with a bad back. That probably accounted for the couple of picks, but he had all the time in the world to throw. He ran, he gained nearly 100 yards on the ground. So give some credit to the big J boys up front. It was a uh, typical Jefferson performance. Quentin Williams ran well. Demetrius Russell, like you mentioned. Uh, touchdown pass, uh, Chris Moore. Touchdown pass, Andre Davis. I mean, they were throwing it, slinging it around the field. And the defense, though, I thought the big difference in this game. <laughs> Uh, we want a surprise. We do that all season. We just very underrated. You know, we only give up 10 points a game. So, you know, we just did our thing and they can't block us. How about Christian Cali, number 47, scored on a short pass. He got in on the offense and he was in uh, Benji Philippe's grill all day, just coming up the middle with that pass rush. And we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Rodney Mills, two picks, almost had a third. He's the cousin of CJ Mills, who was tragically killed in his front carport. Uh, more than three years ago, the Dragons dedicated this the season to this to this kid who would be 22, who would be 20 years old now, was destined to be a great Dragons player. Tra tragically shot down. How appropriate that his cousin comes up big today on a state title game that's dedicated in part to him. Everybody, just top to bottom, great game. The coaching staff did a great job in preparing for this. I mean, they looked like they knew everything that was going to happen before it happened. And then uh, that brings us, of course, to the uh, the mighty, the legendary, the prolific Quentin Williams. Uh, goes out as he deserves. Absolutely. Finishes with about every state passing record in the book. Touchdown passes, career passing yardage, single season passing yardage, and just the way he played so valiantly in the second half. The game was pretty much in hand by then, but as Coach Mike Fenton told me, Quentin wasn't coming off the field today. He limped up to the, uh, the victory podium to get his medal quite literally. Just a gutsy, prolific effort for a guy who better start getting some more Division I offers. Why he hasn't is beyond me. And uh, Quinn Williams is a, a big Harry Potter fan and also a big Xbox uh, 360 and uh, PS3 guy. Loves to play video game football. Very good at it, I understand. And he made it look like a video game out here today. Jefferson 
44, Miami, New Orleans, 34, the first state championship, I believe, of any kind for Jefferson High School. Yeah. At the very least, it's definitely their first football uh, championship. Uh, great accomplishment. Absolutely. There could be a couple more before the weekend's out, but I don't think anybody's going to come in here from Hillsborough County this weekend and dominate the way Jefferson did today. Maybe Armwood, but they'll have a tall order because Jefferson owned this game.